<laughs> I love the look of that. Okay, so that was, welcome back. That was a little glimpse of Magnolia, the series, which is a Caribbean superhero series um, done by Ansel Harris of Ville Ventures Film and Cassidy, Cassidy Pesher, who are both here to talk to us about their very Caribbean, very local superhero series. That's the lead character that you're seeing on screen. She has the power of telekinesis, which I am very envious of. So I think I'm being joined by Cassidy and Ansel. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, thank you so much for joining us today. Talk to me about Magnolia. When did you all actually film this? Well, we started filming Magnolia um, early last year before the um, lockdown. Perfect timing. Uh, yes. <laughs> and so now. And what made you all decide to go with a superhero series? Because, you know, um, special effects can be tricky. But I love how you all em um, employed them. Yeah, thanks. Um, well, Magnolia is a character I always uh, had since, um, since a, a young boy grew up. So um, yeah, I decided that you know, seeing that you know, CW, have uh, all these all these companies you know, that was doing a uh, was taking the character into the series. I say you know we, we'll take the chance and, and and do that you know um, and it, it worked out good. And why why telekinesis? Why why is that her power? Um, no, nah, but that that is that is what she had from. Uh, from ever since I created the craft, so that, that's what that's what she had. Um, we, uh, but it's more to that, but I can't sell out more. But it's more to that. So it's not our version of telekinesis. Is 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 there is a a, a different version of it, but it, you will see it more in the series. It's a it's a different top secret version um, yeah. that will be revealed yeah. when you watch the series. How many yeah. episodes? <laughs> yeah. How many episodes in the first series? Um, so far, we have uh, five episodes, but we have three episodes now so far. Okay, and where can we watch uh, Magnolia, the series? Uh, so you can watch it at um, GT Caribbean Network.tv. Uh, we have our streaming site. Um, we also have different uh, platforms around the world to us. Um, we are uh, one, one Caribbean TV in, in New York, we have also TV in, in uh, Zambia, Africa, and in certain places. <laughs> and Cassidy, um, you can tell from the promo that this was filmed in and around Trinidad and Tobago. How challenging was it for you to do that? I mean, you know, feature feature film, feature acting is a little tricky. And then, you know, there's the Trinidad crowd while you're trying to film your scene. You know, talk to me about how you navigated that. Um, well, it wasn't that, that tricky. Um, what something that we had to um, battle with was the weather because a lot of our scenes in those sites were outdoor scenes so um, we had to stop filming we had to um try not to get the actors wet and so on in terms of these sites um they were really interesting especially for me because then i get to see different areas of trinidad that i've never seen before um yeah the crowd it was the crowds weren't that heavy um, slight crowding, but that was nothing because then we were able to cut filming and then resume right after. Now, both of you are very, very young. Um, how did you all get into film? What, what spark, sparked the interest? And not just get into film, but really get into film. Instead of talking about creating a series, you all actually created a series. Yeah, um, well, um, I've been filming a, a while now. Um, started off like, doing different things, documentaries and videos and traffic in places, different countries and like doing documents and certain stuff. Um, so I guess from there, that's where I built my um, experience um, into filming. And now, you know, pull, pull into the whole uh, filming world. And Cassidy, how did you get into film? Well, I actually met Ansel at uh, um, internship a while ago in 2019 and I told him that I was interested in um, directing something of this sort and so he pulled me on board and he was like hey here's the script I want you to direct it and I was like I've never directed before but 
my first day on set, um, that was that was amazing for me. I felt like I was in my element, and from there on, that's like all I wanted to do. Just, so. So, so did you know, I mean, so, so did it confirm that you are a director, that directing is your passion? Yes, directing, and I love to write. And I think it's amazing that this is your first project as a director, and, and look at what you've done with it. That's amazing. Uh, actually, it's my second. My first one was um, a short film called Becoming Extinct, which mm -hmm. was released wow. in 2019. And where can we find that if we you know, wanted to see more of your work? Um, Becoming Extinct is on GT Network's YouTube page. And what is about this relationship with GT Caribbean Network? I don't know if a lot of people know about them. How um, but, uh, well, what it is, is, is we get a collective of, uh, of different creators from different Caribbean islands that uh, came together and say, you know, we wanted to do something, we wanted to have a platform where other young people could come and showcase their talent. And, you know, that's, that's what basically the setup uh, back in 2017. So it's a fairly young um, enterprise. Now, yeah. when we talk about the film industry in Trinidad and Tobago, mm -hmm. we talk about it in burgeoning terms. We're developing a film industry. We yeah. are trying to get people to understand that the creative industries have a lot of potential, especially in terms of economic diversification. Most people in film who are successful do documentaries. You all decided to do a feature series yeah. Why were you also brave to go into storytelling? Because storytelling is trickier. Uh, yeah, well, I would say that it's about time that we'll see other things that we can, you know? Um, when you look at Trinidad, you don't want people to get accustomed, okay, yeah, all you can do is documentaries, all you can do is music videos, all you can do is these things. You know, we wanted to push the info and say, hey, same thing that Hollywood do it, we can do the same thing here. We can tell the stories, but our perspective and what happens in the Caribbean, what happens in Trinidad, and stuff like that. And that is the that is the reason why we, we push forward with this project. And this is just one of the many projects that we have um, that coming out um, very soon. We have uh, we have uh, some other sci-fi stuff, and then we have some post stuff, and we have different stories that based in Trinidad and so on. Ansel, you dipped out a little bit there, but um, are you also doing a second season of Magnolia? Yeah, yeah, we do, we're doing a second season of Magnolia, and also to, uh, we're doing other projects as well, um, along that lines, along that lines, in terms of the sci-fi and, and, and different things. Let's talk about Magnolia a little bit. How did she get that name? Let's let's talk about the character development. You know, you you okay. you piqued my interest because I like the <laughs> idea of telekinesis as a as a power, but you know, she has a very specific type of telekinesis that's top secret, and we yeah. have to watch the series to find out what it is. Um, talk to me about that name, Magnolia. Like, right. and um, give me some of her give me some of her background. Right. Um, if I if I tell you a little bit about what the name stands for in myself, some of the, uh, it, might, it might be a little spoiler, um, but, but, in, but the name is uh, originated from where she's from, where her, her family is from. Um, it's from a different, it's from a different, it's from a different, a different family. Yeah, I saw uh, the face Right, right. So her name ties in with that, which will be explained in the series. Um, the character, um, when I developed the character, I developed the character around uh, too tall, right? And um, basically, I wanted this character to look like this, you know? So I wanted the character to be a mixture of all the elements um, from Trinidad. You know, Afrocentric, that uh, Indian background, and this and then, and then put them together. Um, initially, she, for the corner had like Jerry Pills, that was the first, uh, that was the first um, design I had for her. And then in 2016, I actually redesigned her and made her with the cables and developed the suit and stuff like that. So that's a little, yeah, we how, how she started. Are you designing the character yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but you're also, um, you're also, right, so character design, drawing, that sort of thing? Yeah, yeah, because I, I, I started with doing, um, I have those, the, those crafts. Sorry, you dipped out a little bit. Oh, sorry. 
Yeah, I had those crabs. That's a while now in terms of the comp. When I was doing some research for this, um, I saw a friend posted and said she really liked the merchandising, the way you all approached mm -hmm. it. I saw there was a, 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 a curl custard for your hair. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How, how did that come about and what made you all think, okay, this is the perfect vent, um, vehicle for our, for our character, for our brand? Right. Um, every, in, which, in the merchandise, um, we noticed that, you know, especially with a character like this, we wanted to, you know, do stuff that, you know, people could use. Like the character is a TV. She will relate a lot of the girls, videos and stuff like that. But that the 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 curl activator for here would be a good product um, to have her attached to. And you know, we reached out to the the people who did it, and they received it very well. And it actually did relevant to us. <laughs> is it still like, available? Um, I don't know if it's still available. I know we did a, a limited amount, and I think that's so low now. No, um, but it was at a um, few outlets um, in, um, in Trin City and Tunapuna and stuff like that. Um, we wanted to do the merchandise and a little different from just having like the t-shirts and the different to have that. So we have this, this styling custom and then we did a Magnolia Cherry Lip Balm, which that, that sold out too as well. So, 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 <laughs> so where can we find out more about Magnolia? The series, the the different promos, um, mm -hmm. a little bit of the character history, and some of the brilliant merchandising. Like, suppose you'll re you a curly custard. I'm going to have to get one. Yeah, definitely. Um, definitely, you can check uh, www.gtcaribbeannetwork.tv, and there you'll see the episodes, you'll see updates, news updates on what the process press with map area and with new things that we are coming out with and stuff like that. So you'll see everything there at GT the network that And I can see all the episodes. How many episodes have been released so far of, of Magnolia? Three released really so far. Three released really so far. And um we kinda of hold it back with the others because you know the lockdown and stuff like that. So um still have some more filming and stuff like that. But you can see three one time that's a that's a nice did you watch <laughs> a little or one something you're gonna see? Uh, two episodes like 30 minutes, second is 24, third one, the recent one is like 20, 21, 22. I wanted to jump on something that you said there. Um, have you all finished filming your first season or you're still trying to complete filming of the first season? Yeah, we're still trying to complete filming. It's just how, how is that going in terms of coordination? I mean, separate and apart from the lockdown, um, how yeah. is that going in terms of coordination and, and stuff and, and financing? Um, it's cool, you know. Um, what we do doing is just we just um, listen to the news, obviously, you know, just uh, uh, seeing things and then working out along with that, working in accordance with the COVID rules and restrictions and different things. And Cassidy, um, what next are you working on in al uh, alongside Magnolia? What other projects are you working on? We have um, two other short films supposed to come out this year, one called Andrella and another one called Days of Claw, which is, and both characters kind of spin off from Magnolia. Yeah, it, I'm, I'm noticing a sci-fi kind of trend there. Is, is, is sci-fi your thing? <laughs> yes, um, <laughs> I, I'm actually exploring it, so I'm being introduced to it at the same time. Because I never thought that I would been doing a sci-fi film, so it's neat. Yeah, and I, I really like what you're doing with Magnolia. I find it a very interesting um, concept, and I really enjoyed, you know, just looking at the little promos and seeing how Trinidadian is. There's a scene where she's um, she discovers her powers in a classroom, and that is such a Trinidadian classroom. Like, everybody who went to school. <laughs> Did I hear Anne? Anne's still in the background? But yeah, I, I, everybody who is going to school in Trinidad knows that classroom, knows that desk, knows the, the vent blocks. So it's it's nice seeing seeing the, the links. So yes. Ansel Harris and Cassidy Pesce, thank you so much for joining us to talk awesome. about Magnolia the series. I hope everybody goes to GT Caribbean Network TV to watch the three episodes that are currently available. 
and hope and, and give it the kind of support so that, you know, as soon as it's safely possible to, that you can complete the filming of the other two and we get to see the whole series and then wait for season two. Yes. <laughs> So I've been talking to Ansel Harris of Ville Ventures Films and Cassidy Pesce, who's the director of Magnolia, the series. Look out for it on the GT Caribbean Network um, TV website. Time for a short break, and we'll be back with more.